What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the uh, return of Zach Cassian to the NHL as the Edmonton Oilers recalled him today. Obviously, made the deal with uh, Montreal, you know, 10, 12 days ago to uh, bring him in and uh, you know give him a clean slate and a fresh start to uh, you know get his get his career back on track. You know, had some issues with substance abuse and uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, right now is clean and wants to be back. Um, you know, on the ice in the NHL. Uh, he only got in four games in Bakersfield to the AHL. He's reporting right now to Edmonton. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, you, you root for a guy like that to overcome their personal demons and, you know, be able to, uh, you know, continue doing, you know, their, living out their, their childhood dream of, you know, playing pro hockey. Uh, so, you know, right, wrong, or different, I'll be rooting for Zach to do some big things. And I've been a fan of his since the 2009 draft. And, uh, you know, you look at one of those situations, I, I really thought he was going to be a high-end power forward. I think part of the reason he was drafted so high, if my memory serves me correctly, is Milan Lucic had a huge year that year in the second year in the NHL. The teams realized that power forward was the way to go. Um, you know, they, they were no longer an endangered species. And, uh, you know, if you could add a guy that could, you know, bring you some tenacity and snarl and, uh, you know, score goals, which Cassian was doing in junior hockey uh, for Peterborough and, and then later Windsor, you know, it's like, oh, you know, let's get this guy. Obviously didn't work out with Buffalo. Got traded for Cody Hodgson. Got, obviously got waived today. A small world. Um, and a deal that looked like it was going to be a good move for both sides. Then, you know, Vancouver moved him to Montreal. We all know what happened with the Habs, and now he's, you know, in Edmonton, and, uh, you know, they're playing San Jose tomorrow night. So not not too long of a ride from Bakersfield to San Jose, but, you know, I, I think the Oilers, Peter Shirelli, uh, Topo Cohen, all those guys are, are, you know, giving him a clean slate, but if he screws it up, he's done. Um, and I think that's fair, and I think, you know, with this young team, there's a lot of familiarity with them. He obviously played with Taylor Hall in, uh, in Windsor and this you know, some other mutual connections over the years with the, with him and this team. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Again, I, I'm rooting for him. You know, I, I still think he can be a, a productive – I don't think he's going to be, you know, that all-world powerful. I think he'd be, you know, a productive bottom sex guy. You know, gives you some snarl. If you got to bump him up, I think he can, you know, hold his own for short periods of time. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But, again, I like him as a player, and it's good to see him – you know, overcoming his team. It's not, I would not want to play against him, considering he's got hit, you know, the cheap shots and all that other stuff, but he's one of those guys that you, know, you want to have in your team you know, to uh, keep the other team on their toes. So we'll see how it all uh, how it all shakes up for Mr. Cassian. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.